Hey YouTube, welcome back, Leo Pozzo, you know what it is, thanks for tuning in guys. I want to say thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel in the last year or so. Uh, thank you very much guys, I've hit 500 subscribers plus, I remember not too long ago. I was at 100, 200, 300, 400. Now I'm at 500 plus subscribers, guys. Thank you very much. Leo Pozzo, that's the channel. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe uh, if you guys haven't already. And uh, let me know what you guys think, all right, guys? So today's video is going to be uh, a video of a 75 gallon tank. I'm going to show you right now. Uh, this is a 75 gallon tank. It's a store bought tank. Uh, the dimensions are 48 inches by 18 by 22 tall. And basically, I'm going to be taking this tank, I'm going to be stripping off the trim off the top, the black trim, and I'm going to be uh, siliconing on some, some, uh, some Euro braces, some half inch glass Euro brace from one end to the other. So I just want to take you guys through the process of here, be building this tank, this peninsula tank, and uh, it's going to be a reef tank, and uh, just stay tuned and you'll see uh, how I'm going to do this. So right now, I already have the trim popped off, I tried to get it off in one piece, didn't look like that worked too well. And now basically you can just see here the silicone that's left on the glass. I got to basically get a razor blade to this, clean this all off nice and nice and uh, basically prep it up for some silicone. And this is where I'm going to be gluing, uh, siliconing the new, the new glass pieces on top for the Euro brace. So uh, let's get this guy all prepped up and let's see how it looks when it's all clean. All right guys, well here you can see, here's the tank. It's all cleaned up. I cleaned it up with a nice fresh razor blade and some uh, silicone be gone, some glue gone. So I just used that with a nice fresh razor blade, guys. Make sure if you're gonna do this, uh, cleaning off the silicone off the glass, make sure you use a brand new fresh razor blade. <clears throat> if it's not fresh, don't use it, guys. You have a good chance of scratching the glass. So now that the tank's all prepped up, I cleaned off all the silicone. I'm pretty much ready now to prep up my uh, glass Euro brace pieces as well as my tape. So uh, let's get started on that next. All right, okay, here we have the uh, half inch glass Euro brace pieces. They're basically two pieces that are half inch glass. Uh, they're 48 inches long from one end to the other. Usually you guys might uh, be familiar with the braces going uh, from the, the short way from front to back, the 18 inches. Uh, but this is another way of uh, strengthening the tank with glass is the Euro brace lengthways right here, 48 inch pieces. So this, these are uh, 48 inches by four inches by half inch thick glass beveled edges, polished edges. And basically what I have here, I just got the tape, it's all prepped up on the two glass pieces uh, as well as all the tape prepped up on the tank walls as well. And basically I just left a good uh, quarter inch uh, space around the edge of the glass where the tape is, a nice straight line and um, just to help basically with nice straight lines when you're siliconing the tank and the glass pieces on top. So let's get started on that. We're going to be using aquarium safe silicone <clears throat> and uh, you just want to make sure the area is all nice and clean and prepped up properly and not wet or any uh, anything on there. So let's get started with that silicone. All right, you can see here that I've already applied the silicone onto the two pieces of the Euro brace. They've got the nice straight edge that we got from the, uh, the tape here when we prepped it. We're gonna take that off right away now that we applied the silicone. We wanna make sure that we take off the tape right away uh, once we've done applying the silicone so therefore the uh, silicone doesn't start curing to the tape. Uh, and this will help you actually get a nice uh, solid clean edge when you do that. So guys, uh, here's the silicone. We're gonna let it dry. We have a little bit uh, hanging off the edges. Once that's all dry, we're gonna cut it off and uh, it'll look like uh, brand new. All right, well here we go. It's a day later after we applied the silicone to the Euro braces. We're gonna get started on and uh, drilling some holes through the glass here for these two drains that we're gonna be using with the overflow box. These are uh, two inch and a half drains. So I have a two inch and a half drains as well as an inch and a half diamond bit. So what I've done here is measured everything out, marked it out with some tape, applied some Play-Doh into the area to hold into the water that I'm gonna be uh, having into this drilling area to keep the drill bit uh, nice and cool and uh, cooled off while I'm drilling through the glass. So here we are, we got the first hole already drilled. I'm just gonna be working on the second hole right now and uh, shortly we'll be making the overflow box and installing the overflow box. So you can see here, we got the two holes drilled. They're an inch and a half uh, holes. We're gonna be using both of those for a drain. This is gonna be the side of the tank that's gonna be up against the wall, guys. Remember, it's gonna be a peninsula tank. So this side right here is gonna be up against the wall, so it's gonna be a three viewing side tank. 
So uh, we got the bulkheads installed right here. Uh, basically uh, measured everything uh, the way I need the, the bulkheads to fit and where I want them to be, the height wise and everything. So what I've done next is I'm gonna get started on my overflow box. Here's my overflow box, just wanted to draw it out on paper for myself and uh, just in general. It's about four inches here by uh, by nine and a half or so by seven inches tall. And uh, the teeth are gonna be approximately an inch, an inch and a quarter. Here's uh, some 3 8 acrylic, black acrylic. I just cut it uh, with the table saw, sanded down the edges. I siliconed uh, the corners together and uh, we're gonna prep it up right now on the table saw. We're gonna cut the teeth here for the, uh, the teeth of the overflow box. Alright perfect, we got this overflow box complete, the teeth are cut, it's all silicone together, it's all dry, we're basically ready to silicone this to the tank around the, uh, the drains right here. So let's get started on that, we're going to prep it up with a little bit of tape, silicone it and uh, find some stuff to prep it under, uh, to prop it underneath the overflow box while it sits to dry. So here we are, it's got a bucket, some egg crate, whatever, some a box, uh, just to prep it up to the right height that I need. Alright guys, well now that's all done. We're going to let it sit, let it dry. We're pretty much done with the tank project for now. Next will be the uh, stand we're going to be working on. So stay tuned guys. Leo Pozzo, that's the channel. You know what it is. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed already. Please like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Guys, this is going to be a part one of uh, probably three series or four series of uh, video. So uh, stay tuned, Leo Pozzo. You know what it is. Guys, that's the channel. Guys, one more thing I wanted to mention, uh, be sure to check out No Limit Reef. It's a YouTube channel of my buddy's Vinny. He also has a forum called No Limit Reef, so be sure to uh, subscribe to his channel, check him out, take a look at his videos, some very interesting videos and some great information, um, as well as his forum. His forum is a new forum that just opened up a few weeks ago, so be sure to sign up for the forum. There's some great contests and as well some uh, fantastic information so guys be sure to check it out no limit reef it's a youtube channel and no limit reef is a form i'll leave a link down below so that's what it is guys that's the channel you know what it is leo pot so thanks for tuning in uh, be sure again to check out vinnie at no limit reef all right talk to you guys soon leo pot till next time